Do you have chipped and cracking concrete steps? Do you have a sidewalk that's starting to chip and break apart? Well, for under 20 bucks, I'm gonna show you how to do something about it. Today on Alley Pick, I'm gonna repair a friend's steps. They're really in bad shape. There's large sections of concrete that are just busted off. It's chipping, there's cracks everywhere. But before I do, I wanna show you some other examples of how I patched my own steps and other sidewalk areas around my house. But not just current repairs, ones that I've patched years and years ago. I'm gonna show you why some repairs last a long time and others might only last a year or two. I'm gonna teach you how to avoid the mistakes and how to get it right the first time. These are my steps that I repaired over two years ago. I have to say that I'm pleased with how this resurfacing job is holding up. They're solid, except for one spot here that's starting to chip away. I'm gonna need to patch that again. You can tell the steps are solid by tapping on them. If you hear this hollow sound, then there's not a good solid bond. Let me show you my next door neighbor's steps. He repaired his about the same time that I did mine, and his don't look anything like this. His is severely broken. Weeds are growing through. One step is almost completely chipped away. Now, let me show you some patching that I've done over the years around my house. This was a fairly large break in the sidewalk here. Since it was about an inch deep in some spots, I used regular cement about four years ago. To the right of this repair, I used vinyl patch cement. The damaged area was very thin, up to about a half an inch in some areas. Now, I know that some cities and towns have these 50-50 programs where they'll replace your sidewalk at half the cost. They pay half and you pay half. But hey, I'm a cheapskate and this is Alley Pick. I also know that the color doesn't match very well. It stands out and I do have a solution for that. On the south side of my house, I have several areas that I patched. At the base of the house, I patched that about two years ago. There are a couple spots I still need to touch up. This spot here, I used vinyl patch cement over 10 years ago. It has a few minor cracks, but it's still intact. As I head into the yard, here's a spot that I patched last fall. After one winter, it's still perfect. Before I repair those steps, which I told you I was going to do, let me go over the basic steps by showing you exactly what I'm going to be doing as I repair a few small holes in my driveway. Preparation is the key. Clean out any loose debris. I use a brush, a screwdriver, and finally some compressed air to blow away any loose particles. For the next step, the instructions say to use a concrete cleaner. I like to use muriatic acid. It's cheap, self-working, and available at any home improvement store. This is gonna help etch the concrete and provide a strong bond. Let it sit for a minute or two and rinse it thoroughly. Dry up any standing water. Now I'm gonna mix a small amount of the vinyl patch cement. Just use water until you get a thick but pliable consistency, kind of like kids' Play-Doh. One thing I'm trying here is to add a small amount of concrete stain, which I bought from Home Depot. This color is called Buff, and hopefully the patch is gonna blend in better with the original color. When adding the vinyl patch cement, I use a thick rubber glove to apply and shape it. It's sort of like a potter shaping his clay. I find it easier to blend into the existing surface. Now I leave it set up for a few minutes. This product dries fairly quickly. Before it hardens, I take a brush and lightly wipe the entire surface. This gives it a nice, blended, and even look. This is the spot that I patched last night. It's dried, but there's a couple of problems. Number one, it shrunk a little, and the deep part that I filled, it's actually below the surface. Not a big deal, but there's a second problem. That deep part actually developed a few small cracks in it. We don't wanna leave those cracks there, otherwise moisture is gonna get in and it's just gonna damage once again in a short amount of time. So we're gonna to have to apply a second coat. Sometimes this happens if you either fill too deep of a crevice over a quarter of an inch or it doesn't dry properly. It might dry too fast. They recommend that you actually keep the surface wet and cover it with plastic, but that's not always possible or practical. I didn't do that, and as a result, I ended up developing some small cracks. Not a big deal, we're gonna fix that by applying a second coat. 
While this is drying, I will let you know that this vinyl patch cement is not meant to fill cracks like this, which are smaller than 1 8 of an inch wide. In just a few hours, it's dry and it looks great. I really do like the color matching of the concrete using the liquid additive. Now I'm going to head out and fix those steps. I won't repeat all the details here because the process is basically the same. Clean the entire surface. Apply muriatic acid on any surface to be patched. Muriatic acid is very potent. I don't have a respirator. Just don't get too close, stay downwind, and avoid breathing the strong fumes. When applying the vinyl patch cement, it's a good idea to have the surface slightly damp but not dripping wet. When doing deep fills like this, do it in layers. Apply about a quarter inch to a half inch at a time. Let it set up and then build it up until it's level with the surface. This started to sag a bit, so I supported it using a couple of bricks. After it dried, I gave it a final smooth coat. So for 30 bucks in materials, I've managed to make a significant improvement. We didn't have to hire a contractor to spend thousands of dollars replacing these steps. Now we've got some proper drainage and a solution that should last at least a few good years. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.